Let us discuss some tools that we'll be using across this course. Xcode is Apple's integrated development environment for macOS, used to develop software for macOS, iOS, iPad, uh, watches, tvOS, etc. It was initially released in uh, late 2003. So we'll be using this uh, Xcode environment to edit currently or existing applications and create our own. Cydia is an application that allows users to download software on jailbroken devices. So as we've seen earlier, it's a package manager. Once you jailbreak your uh, iPad or iPhone, uh, it will pop up. By using Cydia, users can search for applications in online repositories or in Cydia store. Frida is a dynamic instrumentation toolkit for developers, reverse engineers, and security researchers. It lets you inject your own script into black box processes. So we will we do that. We'll be doing that uh, during the course. You can as well hook any function, spy on APIs, or trace private application code. Uh, by using Cydia, you don't need to, uh, to know the source code of the application. Objection is a runtime mobile exploration toolkit powered by Frida. It's built to help you assess the security posture of mobile applications without the need of having them being jailbroken. You can inspect and interact with container file system, bypass SSL pinning, uh, dump key chains, perform memory related tasks, etc. It's a very powerful tool. We'll be using it in this course. OpenSSH is an advanced way to connect to your iPhone, uh, also known for its uses for SFTP, POP3, etc. So SSH, as you know, is a protocol short for secure shell. Uh, it gives you an encrypted and secure tunnel between two devices. In this course, we'll see how to connect using SSH to our iPhone. BF Inject is a wrapper that takes care of correctly code signing your dynamic libraries, dilibs, before injecting them. Uh, so actually, it's, it's kind of a complicated process, and we'll discover it during this course. SiteCrypt allows developers to explore and modify running applications on your iOS. It uses a hybrid of C++, objective, of course, C++, uh, Objective-C, I mean, and JavaScript syntax through an interactive console that features syntax highlighting and tap completion. Radar2 or Radar2 is an open source reverse engineering framework used for static and dynamic analysis. You can use it as well for digital forensics, software exploitation, etc. SSL kill allows you or anyone on the same network of a jailbroken device to easily perform man in the middle attacks. Uh, it's used also to bypass SSL certificate pinning. Burp Suite Mobile Assistance is no different than the famous Burp Suite. It's a tool to facilitate testing of iOS applications. It supports uh, main functions. You can modify the system proxy settings of an iOS device so that the HTTPS traffic can easily be redirected to uh, your interface of Perp, so you can monitor what's uh, the, the traffic. It can also uh, attempt to circumvent uh, SSL certificate pinning or TLS certificate pinning. It has many other uses as well. Uh, Burp Suite actually only support iOS versions 8.0 onwards. Last but not least, the famous iGoat is a learning tool for iOS developers inspired by the famous WebGoat project. So you can use the iGoat to actually learn some penetration testing techniques for your iOS application.